I'm falling back into you. I thought we'd be smarter. I got nothing left to lose. You said you fall with me. No matter how far it goes, not even under. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a new in my wardrobe video. I am sharing some new in bits that I got in my wardrobe. This is a variety of items and a variety of price points as well. So I have some higher end things here. I have some really affordable pieces, just a little bit of everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So first up is this dress, which I am so incredibly excited about. I actually got this for my upcoming birthday. It's my birthday in August and I have a few different plans um, but particularly me and Dan are going to a restaurant which I have been wanting to go to for so long so I wanted a dress for that and I saw this and I just thought it was absolutely perfect. It's very similar to the blue and white kind of flowy one. If you guys follow me on Instagram you will probably know the one I'm talking about because I've been living in that dress especially because it's been so warm it's just been a lifesaver and this has a very similar vibe it's just a little bit more structured so I feel like it feels a little bit fancier. And I just absolutely love this. I think it is so incredibly beautiful. The detailing on it is stunning. So you do have this embroidered detail all the way throughout and it is fully lined because you do kind of have a peekaboo effect. You have this beautiful blueprint that runs throughout and then you have this slight peekaboo effect under the bust here. It's really lovely because it is all embroidered. So the detailing again is just so stunning. It buttons up at the back, but you do have this slight cut out detail right in the middle part of the back. And then you do have a nice elasticated back skirt as well so it does have a little bit of give and you have these beautiful thick straps and it is a mini dress but I don't feel like it's overly short just kind of the right length really cute with flats also really nice if you're going to dress it up I'm planning on wearing mine with heels and I just think this is so crazy beautiful this one is from Karen Millen who are nice enough to part sponsor this video I have a few pieces from Karen Millen here today their new arrivals at the moment are so beautiful I would definitely recommend checking out their new in section I will link all of these pieces though in the description section along with the size I took if you did want to check any of them out I do have a discount code with them as well so you take an extra 10% off your entire order it does work with this dress as well as all the other pieces I'm sharing. Next up is this pencil skirt which is just pretty much the perfect example of what it is and I find pencil skirts can be really difficult to get right. I either don't like the fabric or the length or it kind of bunches whereas this one is just ideal really in pretty much every single way. Um, it does have some stretch to it like it's a very very comfortable skirt to wear. You have this beautiful detailing as well so you have these really elegant buttons on each side. You do have pockets and I don't think I've ever actually had a pencil skirt with pockets but I am totally here for it. I think it's such a clever design feature. It zips up at the back and it's a completely seamless zip as well so you don't get any lumps or bumps or anything like that. You do have a slit at the back so it's very easy to walk in. It isn't lined um, but it doesn't need it because the fabric is actually very thick. Again it kind of has that compression but it's figure hugging without being unflattering. It really does just seem to skim. And I just think this is so, so pretty. I love the color as well. I tend to have a lot of darker pencil skirts, whereas this one, I like the fact that it's nice and light. I just think it's really, really beautiful, very elegant, and just a really lovely wardrobe staple. Next up, this dress. Oh my goodness, I just fell in love with this as soon as I saw it. It's definitely more of a formal one, and um, so I actually got this for an upcoming christening I'm going to. I was in a complete tiz about what to wear. I haven't been to a christening in so long, so I wanted something quite fancy, but I also wanted something classic that I'll be able to wear for many years. And I just thought this was so unbelievably beautiful. It is a one piece, but it's designed to look like a two piece, which I love because it feels like, you know, it's a different item on the top to the bottom. You have this pleated skirt and then you have this great almost tweed like top. So it just makes it look like you're kind of a styling genius when actually it's just a really easy dress. And I just think it's so fantastic. It is a halt neck style and then you have this great, really chic looking square neckline. It is double breasted and just kind of buttons up there cinches in at the waist and then you have this pleated skirt which kind of tucks under it and just flares out. 
I thought this was so gorgeous, so elegant and chic, kind of reminds me of like old school Dior and I just love this, I'm so excited to wear it. I think this one comes in a few colors as well. I think I saw a white one or maybe like a pale pink. I went for the navy, um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. I thought it was so sharp and just a little bit different looking. Next up is this blazer, which I am very, very excited about. It's very kind of almost Chanel-esque inspired, so it's a little bit of a boxier fit. I generally tend to go a little bit longer with my blazers, um, but I got a navy one, um, also from Karen Miller, actually, which was a little bit shorter, and I've been loving that and finding it so incredibly useful. And then I saw this in this beautiful tweed. The tweed is just so elegant. So it kind of has a sparkle thread running all the way through, which I know it sounds like it might not be that nice, but in reality, it's like very, very subtle and it just kind of catches the light in a really, really subtle way. Not too much at all, so this is definitely still appropriate for day. The cut is absolutely beautiful as well. So you have these great gold buttons which really pop against the white. I believe this one comes in pink as well. It's a really, really beautiful fit. You do have some padded shoulders, so it just elevates it ever so slightly. And then it nips in at the waist and you have this beautiful fitted back. I always look at the back of blazers to see how well it fits. And this just kind of flows down. It's absolutely stunning. These sleeves fit very well as well. Another kind of big test for me. And I just thought this was beautiful. I think it's gonna look great over a simple bodycon dress. Really elegant to wear with dress and skirts, but I think this would be equally beautiful with a good pair of jeans and I just love it, really classic, really lovely, and I'm just so excited about this find. And now for this dress, and this is completely up my street. I thought it was so incredibly lovely. So the color is just perfect. It is the most beautiful shade of cornflower blue. I absolutely adore it. The body is quite structured, I'd say, and you have these really nice kind of fitted straps. It is a slightly rounded um, neckline, but it's kind of in between a round and a square neck. It's very, very subtle, and lovely you do have this great belt as well which comes with it and the buckle is actually very substantial so the detailing on this is lovely it's a very pale gold which just goes beautifully against the blue and then it cinches in obviously at the waist with the belt and then it flares out into this beautiful a-line skirt it has quite a lot of body to it it is fully lined even though it's not opaque so you don't actually need the lining but it is fully lined in this beautiful silky lining so it feels amazing on your skin it just zips up at the back and for me this is just kind of elegance in a dress I think it's so gorgeous I love the color I love the fit and I just think it's the prettiest thing next up is a new and brooch that I got and I mentioned in a video the other day how much I just absolutely love brooches and I was actually saying that video how much I dislike luxury costume jewelry in general not that I dislike it I just feel like it's not always good value for money um, but my one exception to that is brooches because even though you're not getting the quality materials I just think they're fantastic and a really easy hack to dressing up an otherwise really inexpensive outfit. This one is from Valentino and I've had my eye on it for a while and I just absolutely love this. I think it's so pretty. Um, so it's very dinky, which is kind of what drew me towards it. I do have other brooches which are a little bit on the larger side, whereas I love the fact this is so small and delicate. So I will do close-ups, um, but it's just a really, really pretty kind of V logo design. It's a very nice gold, and it is a yellow gold, but I don't feel like it's overly yellow. Um, just a really nice kind of pale yellow gold, very, very shiny, and just really elegant, like not too big, not too small, like it does make an impact, but at the same time, it is a logo brooch, so I didn't want anything like absolutely massive in, in your face. It's just enough to make a little bit of an impact, and I just think it's beautiful. Um, it looks to be very nice quality as well, and the pin isn't too large either. That's definitely something I look out for because my YSL one does have quite a thick pin, so it can leave holes in clothing, um, whereas this one looks to be fairly thin, and I'm just so excited to style this up with all the different outfits, planning on wearing this with pretty much everything I can, from sweaters to coats, like they really are versatile, and I just thought this was the prettiest thing. Next up is this beautiful, beautiful dress, and this is pretty much me living out my little house on the prairie dreams. It is just so beautiful. So it's from Love Shack Fancy, and I have been eyeing up their line for so long, and never pulled the trigger on anything, just because I wasn't really sure if I could pull their pieces off. Like, they are very, very girly to the extreme. Whereas I saw this, and I love the fact that it was a maxi dress, but you do have a side slit, which I do think kind of balances out the floral a little bit. They're really known for their overly girly floral pieces. 
I love the colorway of this. I think it's so pretty. You do have a smocked bodice, and then you have these beautiful little puff sleeves with this tiny rosebud design. It's very, very delicate and dainty. The rosebud design carries on through the skirt as well, and then it's kind of a little bit more fitted in the hip area, but then it flares out in a really beautiful way in the lower part of the skirt. It is so incredibly beautiful. I love how flowy and glamorous it feels. It definitely does have Little House on the Prairie vibes, but I don't feel like it's too much. I feel like it's kind of done in a fashiony way. And I'm just obsessed with it, like so unbelievably cute. I am absolutely thrilled with it. You can wear it both off the shoulder and also kind of with the sleeves up as well. So I like that versatility. And I'm just thrilled a bit with my purchase. And speaking of beautiful dresses, I have this one which I just absolutely love. I'm always a sucker for a good sundress, and especially since they don't date. You know, I feel like sundresses have pretty much stayed the same for the last five years, and I love the fact they come back year after year. And this one is just a summer party in a dress. It's a really beautiful crisp white, and the fabric is quite crisp. Um, it doesn't crease badly though, which I love, but it does just feel really lovely and summery and I just think it's the prettiest thing. Um, so you have this ruching around the waist. So it's just under the bust that kind of cinches you in. So very, very flattering. You have this great tie neckline. The straps are adjustable as well, so you can get a really nice fit. And then it flares out. It is a multi-tier skirt, so it kind of gets bigger as it goes along. It's a midi skirt, and it is fully lined as well. And the lining is slightly uh, silkier than the actual fabric. I mentioned it kind of had that crisp feel. The lining is incredibly soft, so it's very, very comfortable to wear. And the print is just so beautiful and summery. So you have these beautiful oranges and pinks. You have some magenta in there. Like the colors are just absolutely stunning. And I thought this was the loveliest thing, really, really fun, just so classic and lovely, and just the perfect super girly sundress. Next up is a polka dot maxi, and there is nothing I love more than a polka dot dress, especially in maxi or midi dress form. And this is just such a beautiful example. Um, so it is a smock dress, and it's a classic black and white print. The polka dot is an abstract one, so it kind of has different shapes all the way throughout. You have elasticated straps as well, so you can get a really nice fit. And then it is fitted all the way in the body. It flares out fairly gently, so you don't get like a really big puff effect or anything like that. You have three different tiers in the skirt. Definitely still a continuing trend that I'm seeing, like tiered skirts seem to be everywhere, but I do really enjoy it because it gives you so much volume without being unflattering because you do introduce that extra fabric gradually rather than having it just kind of puff out at the hips, make you look bigger than you are. And I love this, really, really lovely and flowy. This one is unlined, um, but very light and airy as a result of that. Not see-through at all because of the darker color. And I love this, I thought it was so beautiful, really cute with you know a biker jacket, a denim jacket, whatever you wanna pair it with. I am planning on teaming it with my pearl necklace, which I thought would go really, really beautifully. And just a really, really beautiful dress, and the polka dot design is just gorgeous. And now for another beautiful, beautiful dress. Um, so this one has slightly more exaggerated sleeves and I feel like I always have to be careful with sleeves um, because if they're too big and crazy, then I just feel ridiculous. But I feel like this just strikes the balance between being really fun and on trend without making me feel like Rachel and friends with the bridesmaid's dress, you know, the really big pink puffy one. I love it. I think the colorway is really beautiful as well. So it's a really unusual kind of um, like aqua mint green the floral pattern on it is really pretty as well so it's not a super girly floral I'd say it's more of like it's not quite abstract it's just not like a daisy print or anything like that um, you have these beautiful colors from these peaches to whites and purples really really lovely it cinches in at the waist so it's very very flattering and then you have this great tie detail on the back which I'm gonna do my best to show you um, but it is a little bit difficult to do things from the back it just ties into a bow and you can kind of tie it how you want. It's really lovely. You have a bit of an elasticated back so there is some give as well. I just took my regular size um, since it is quite loose and flowy so really good for a growing bump um, but otherwise I would say it just fits like normal. It's very silky on the inside, very very comfortable to wear and I'm just so in love with the print. I think it's just the prettiest prettiest thing. Next up is a bag, and this definitely isn't anything fancy. It was super affordable, it was just $35, but 
I thought it was amazing value and actually really, really cute and good quality for the price. You're not getting leather for $35, obviously, so if you don't wear leather, it's another really nice choice, but I thought it was an adorable summer style, especially if you wanted something that was, you know, perfect with sundresses and general summer outfits. You didn't want to spend hundreds, if not thousands, on something that you'll only be able to wear a few months out of the year. I think it's a really, really cute style. Um, so it has a beautiful kind of weave detail. Dan actually thought this is real leather and it does feel very legit in terms of the actual quality. Um, you have this really beautiful kind of weave fabric on the back layer. So you have this really beautiful texture running all the way through and then on the back and then the base is completely plain, but the base is reinforced. So it's really quite sturdy and structured. You have this loop design on the shoulder strap. You can actually wear this as a crossbody as well as a shoulder bag so you do have that versatility. It opens and closes with a magnetic button closure, which is actually very strong. And then on the inside, it's just a nylon fabric lining. It's actually got decent capacity as well, so you can fit in everything that you need from sunglasses to water to your wallet, all those kind of things. And I thought this was fantastic. You know, for $35, I don't really feel like you can go wrong. And I thought it was just the nicest design, really easy to pair, a really beautiful neutral. And I was just super impressed with the cost. And then finally, I do also have some blouses here as well. So two of these are repeat styles um, because I just love the style of the top and I just pretty much live in these. Um, the first one is just this really, really lovely print. So this is another kind of floral one, but again, I don't feel like this is an overly girly floral. Um, the colorway is beautiful. So it's a navy blue with red against white. So the print actually really pops. It's a really, really lovely contrast. And you have this beautiful ruffle detail all the way around the neckline. You have these very tiny cap sleeves and then it just kind of flares out in a really beautiful way. It is fully lined as well so even though it's white it's not see-through in the slightest and this is just lovely and um, completely crease proof. Always so important but I always make sure to do that test especially for something that I'm planning on wearing for you know long days, zoom calls, things like that. Like you're going to want something that is crease proof and this just does beautifully and I think the print is so charming. And then I also got this flutter sleeve top and I actually own this in a few other colors and prints, but it's one of my favorite blouses. I also own it in the white with the pink. I've worn it a few times recently in videos and it's just the perfect, just the most lovely fitting blouse. Like really nice for casual wear, but I feel like it can also be dressed up for work as well. And they do so many different combinations. So I went for the plain black one. You guys will probably notice that. I really like my plain black tops. I get a lot of use out of them. And this is just a really nice, easygoing wardrobe staple. And then I saw this colorway in the printed option. I just thought it was beautiful. I always love my blue and white prints. And this is just really elegant and lovely. You do have buttons all the way down as well. It is fully lined as well. So again, not see-through in the slightest. It isn't lined on the back and that helps keep it very, very cool and airy. So I wore these even when it was crazy hot here in the UK. I had a couple of Zoom calls. I was worried I was gonna melt, but these actually kept me very cool. The color is just so pretty, a really lovely, vibrant blue. And I just can't get enough of these tops. Like they never get old for me. I get so much use out of them and I just love them to bits. So that is it for this video guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. As usual, I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below. I will also pin everything to a top comment. If you have any questions for me, then leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite piece was in the comment section. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.